Hey guys, my name is Jason from Southern Land, and this is our pig shelter. I built this pig shelter in the early springtime to house our two pigs. Now this is the first time we raised two pigs. They were Berkshire pigs. Hey brother. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys uh, some of the things that maybe I would do different with this pig shelter and some things that I really loved about it and some things that didn't work really. First of all, I'm not a pig expert. <laughs> like I said, we only raised those two pigs for the first time this year and we've only had them for three months. We got them when they were four months, we raised them for three months and then now they're in our freezer. For a newbie like myself, that was a very good intro on to raise uh, pigs on our one and a half acre homestead. I will not go into exact detail of how I built this because I already did plenty of videos of that. I'll leave a link down below where you can watch those videos. First, let's talk about the outside structure of it. I love the tarp that we used. I'll leave a link down to the tarp down below and all the tools that I used to build this. I'm talking about the white tarp here. This one is a silage tarp and we added this after we installed this tarp because I felt like it really needed it because it was the summertime and the pigs were getting a little bit hot and uh, we added this tarp which made it a little bit more shaded for them inside here. I would not change anything about that. I do like just the added protection. You got the double layers here. We got the white and then you got this that, which pretty much blacks out inside there. Uh, it makes it a little bit more darker. I rolled up the sides using these plastic clips here and I think that worked pretty well. Uh, it was easy to do. We could roll up these sides too when it was a little bit too hot for them and then roll them back down. Zip ties guys, zip ties. This worked very well. The zip ties, they are very strong and they did not break one time. Uh, they held the pigs in, the pigs pushed up against this. They didn't get too crazy, they're pretty mellow pigs. I used zip ties to attach the kettle panel, the metal zip ties to attach to the poles and I use zip ties to attach all the corners. Now I did not raise the two pigs in here full time. In the three months they were in here maybe about a few weeks total and then the combination of being in here and then we moving them out on grass on our, our small one and a half acres uh, it worked well for us. It didn't get too muddy, which I, I wanted. I, I didn't want it to get too muddy in our little area here. It didn't get too smelly. Uh, it was just perfect. If it wasn't for the structure, I'd, I think we would definitely have a big muddy pit somewhere around here. Now I would make this structure a little bit longer. Not necessarily because I didn't feel like the pigs had enough room, but because the storage area here, I would make this a little bit more because we brought in wood chips here. I would extend this area out maybe about another eight feet. And that, I think that would help with some of the storage that we have going on for the pigs. By extending it out, I would move this wall, actually the whole back half here where the pigs actually lived, I would move that in about four feet. And so I would move this wall in and start it right here. That would give me this extra space more for storage maybe i could put their feed on this end or their water or something like that or maybe even more wood chips um, but i would have that extra space and then also it they would be even more shaded from the sun i didn't add this part this cattle panel part till later because as they were pooping they were getting pretty high and they were actually up this high the pigs so i ended up adding some of this panels uh, because i thought that they might hop out so if I was to do it over again, I would definitely add these panels in and make it a little bit nicer than what it looks like now. I liked having the feed here. These are the two feed barrels that we use. That was our water that was inside. But the two feed barrels here, I think it worked very well because it, everything was right here. I didn't have to go somewhere else to get their feed. Now this is their door. As you can see, this is as far as it opens, which I wish it would have opened a little bit wider out but you don't realize that those things unless unless you're actually using it. And so after using it, I realized I would, I would like it to go all the way out, uh, swing out, but it, it held them pretty good. 
and that was incredibly sturdy for them because they would want to push on this and with everything there they couldn't even push this out and, and this this door is still strong like if you guys have a tractor and want to do this i would extend this opening wider so that way you could bring a tractor bucket and they could just dump wood chips right inside here because otherwise you got to do it by hand and that's how we that's how we did this i did it all by hand brought in wood chips by hand and filled this up with wood chips another thing i would do is put cattle panel here instead of the metal um, but i would take this out and just put the cattle panel there or hog panel i would not do it on the other side just on this side because we're still shaded here and it's still covered um, but i would add maybe just a cattle panel there and then also it could give them an area where they can actually see out but as you can see here <laughs> i did not add a cattle panel at all and this is with this was the spot where they would jump up on whoa <laughs> when i'm re when they're ready to get fed uh, they would jump on this and just bend this and guys this was the only damage that those two pigs done was this little corner right here they bent it up but this is no big deal another thing about this door is if you're gonna do a door it'd be better if we could do it with one hand as far as like opening opening everything with one hand is helpful so you can see i filled this up with wood chips i already took the wood chips out if you notice by watching my videos i did add logs in here and my thought there with the logs is that because i had to bring in so many wood chips if i brought in these logs it would i guess bring up the volume in here and i would have to put less wood chips but really i don't think it helped much at all and then if anything it made it more difficult to take the wood chips out because now i have stumps in here which now i gotta haul out so next time i would not even bother with the stumps now the water system here that we had we had this uh, barrel and just like a little nipple thing the only thing is that when we moved them i had to dump this water out and then move it and then fill it up again so if i was to do it again i would just get another barrel and have two barrels one that stays in here and then one is movable now those pigs did dig in here but not enough, not nearly enough, to lift this up and dig out. Having these baseboard right here I think helped. So you have the baseboard, you have these poles, you have the hog panel, you have this metal. I think the size of this is perfect for two pigs and the size of it is, I think it's perfect for one and a half acres. Even if we had more acres and we're um, raising pigs on pasture more, I think I would definitely still build something like this. Uh, especially when it just starts pouring raining and it gets really muddy out the other benefit of having the shelter for pigs is having this compost pile right here this is about a month's worth of pig poop right here and plus wood chips there's not too much i would do differently um, other than a few things here and there um, i really liked how this turned out in my opinion this is essential if you want to raise two pigs on one and a half acres or a smallish property. So they choose to sleep in here. I think because it's more cooler. And they rooted up there pretty good. But maybe next time I raise pigs, this will evolve over time, this structure. You know, I'll, I'll be more used to it. I'll see what works, see what does it. Maybe the pigs that we had were just super chill and super cool and, uh, you know, that we have no problems with them, but maybe the next pigs we might. I mean, you know, this is just a whole learning experience. And also it feels more safer in here. Like th this is pretty safe. I feel more comfortable with them in here. And after that incident that they took off on us, if you have not seen that video, I'll leave that link down below. Now, I don't know how this is gonna be in the winter time if I was to have pigs in the, during the winter. Um, but I'm hoping, I'm still hoping guys, that I'm gonna get a couple pigs this winter and we'll find out. But I hope this video answered some of you guys' questions. So I know you guys have been asking me some questions about this shelter, but I hope this helped you guys. I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you guys next time.